everyone, my name's Michelle and this is my channel Sewing Bunny and uh, we have a little Bentley cat uh, today as well. <laughs> so uh, I think he's going to try and sit with me. Um, so yes, I am uh, bringing you a video today which is a fabric haul um, as well as I've got a few patterns I want to share as well and uh, yeah, just uh, go through all of that. Sorry, I'm getting so distracted with Bentley being here. Hey, <laughs> your fluff just gets everywhere, Bentley. Right, so um, yeah, before I get started on fabrics, um, I'll tell you what I'm wearing. This is the True Bias Ogden Cami. This is my first um, True Bias Ogden Cami that I made, actually. And I've made a few since, but yeah, this is my first one. And uh, yeah, it does hold a bit of a special place in my heart because this is probably the first thing that I made where I actually went oh that looks really really good like I could buy it in a shop <laughs> so I do love this one right so uh, whilst Bentley's getting settled uh, let's start talking about fabric so the uh, first lot of fabric that I want to share with you is from Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door so I bought um, four fabrics uh, from her Sorry, Bentley's just uh, run off. He heard a noise and just launched. <laughs> right, so um, first lot of fabrics I'm gonna show you is from Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door. Um, her and her daughter Keris have a lovely online fabric shop. Highly recommend you have a look at it because she has some beautiful fabrics. And this first fabric, she'd mentioned on her channel um, a few times because she does uh, live videos every Sunday where she shows you some of the fabrics and um, she'd mentioned this one a couple of times and I just thought I have to give it a go and see what it's like. It's a cotton jersey interlock and it is so smooth. Um, if you can see on here it's got this sort of uh, stripe design on it as well as being like this kind of um, like marl or melange however you refer to it and it is so incredibly soft and I got um, uh, 1.5 meters of this I'm just going to open it out for you so you can kind of see it a bit better but it's really really snugly soft and then on the other side you've got kind of more of the stripes kind of defined there but it's so so soft and I just thought this would be lovely as a little cardigan just because I think you can't go wrong really with a grey cardigan and I just thought with this kind of stripe effect I just thought it would just give a little bit more detail so yeah thinking of a cardigan for that I'm thinking possibly either the Helen's Closet Blackwood cardigan or I haven't tried the free cardigan from Sinclair Patterns which is the Harper cardigan I think that's quite similar to the Blackwood um, but I wouldn't mind giving that a go. So I'm thinking I might uh, do that for this one. Because so, I've made the Blackwood and I'd like to give the Harper a go. So I thought that would be lovely. And it's quite nice and um, lightweight. So it'd be quite a nice piece just to layer over the top of a t-shirt or a little blouse. So that was the first one. Next one I want to share with you is actually one that I got from her sales section. So uh, a few weeks ago, she launched a summer sale. So she had loads of fabrics discounted on her webpage. And I was so good, I didn't buy anything in the sale. It was so tempting, but it was just like everything flew out so quickly. <laughs> and um, there were some lovely pieces. Now I did see this piece in the sale. And I kind of thought, oh, should I get it? I thought, no, I'm going to be good. I'm going to be good. And um, and then she bought out some new fabrics, uh, which I'll show you afterwards. And um, I saw that this uh, remnant piece was still in the sale. So I thought, well, I've got to get it. If I'm buying other fabric, I've got to get this one. <laughs> and this is a remnant piece, which I think is one meter 45, I think it was. And it is a linen viscose. And it's got these gorgeous like pink camels on there and these sort of uh, little palm trees as well just occasionally what I really like about it is the colour in the background it's sort of like that kind of beigey sort of colour but 
it's got all these sort of lines in it so it really looks like linen it's so pretty and I just love the colours I love the shade of pink of the camels as well and I just thought this would make a lovely little Gilbert top so that's a Helen's Closet um, Gilbert top I've done the tie front version but actually I'd like to do just the standard straight version and um, yeah I just think that would be lovely in there I'm thinking maybe get some nice pink buttons um, going down would be really nice as well so yeah I just thought I saw that and I just thought I need to make a little shirt out of it because it is lovely and being linen viscose lovely and breathable nice for warm weather I mean today we're having nice warm weather I don't know how long it's going to last but um, yeah I thought that would be really nice for that so next up uh, these are two that she's recently um, got in on um, the website and she was doing a live and I'd already actually purchased these fabrics before um, I saw her live video and uh, this fabric came up and I knew that I'd, I'd already purchased it and she started showing it and then people in the um, in the comments on the live were going Michelle have you seen this fabric and I was like yes I've already bought it <laughs> I'm that predictable so I'm wondering whether you can guess what it is <laughs> So it is a jersey and it is cats <laughs> and I love these cats because they're all different colours and patterns it's kind of got like a I would say like a sort of like a patchwork sort of look to it kind of like with the different designs and then you've got all these little flowers in the middle as well and I just picked up a metre of this one because I just think it would be a lovely lovely little t-shirt I love the colour of it I love the navy and the red just think it's so pretty so yeah that is going to be a little t-shirt at some point you're coming back in and he's back <laughs> oh hey what was it was it a noise uh, and then the other fabric that um, I picked up, it was just beautiful. I just saw it and it's just the most incredible print. I just had to get it. And it is a jersey. And just look at this. It is just beautiful. So it's uh, like a khaki green background. And then we've got these bright orange foxes. And then these owls and um, these little leaves in grey. It is just beautiful and I just had to pick it up. Just beautiful and I just thought I need to make a t-shirt dress. It's just so beautiful. So it's probably going to be the Molly um, dress. So the Sew Over It Molly uh, top that comes from the ebook. I think it's the City Break ebook and I want to make that up into a dress because I just think it's beautiful absolutely gorgeous i'm thinking pop a little um like orange cardigan over the top just think it would be lovely but i just had to get it it was so beautiful so autumnal as well lovely lovely colors really really pleased i managed to nab some of that because i think this did sell out quite quickly <laughs> so that was everything i got from beyond the pink door um, I do also have to say that um, I do have the fabric, um, but not here with me, is if you remember um, my sew along for the fringe uh, top that I did, um, I had a G&G &G, uh, or Guthrie Garni Sewing Society kit and um, it was to make the dress, but I was a bit stupid. I cut out the fabric incorrectly, meaning that I didn't have enough to make the dress. So I had to change plans um, and make the top. Now I love the top, absolutely love it, but I was a little bit disappointed that I couldn't make the dress. And I think a few people did pick up on it in my sew along. And um, I got a, a package arrive um, and it, I knew it was from Andrea. Um, from Beyond the Pink Door because um, I recognised the uh, the packaging and I thought have I ordered something else that I've forgotten or something like that and I opened it up and I was just so incredibly surprised because she managed to send me um, two metres of the same fabric that I used for my sew along so that I could make the dress <laughs> 
It was so kind of her and such a wonderful, wonderful gift. Um, I was just completely blown away that she thought of me like that. And and she was just so sweet. So yeah, it was just so lovely of her to uh, to do that. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to now make the dress version as well. So that will be coming to you very soon because I really want to get making that. I've started cutting it out and everything, so I'm all good. I know that I can cut it out and I've got a dress. I just need to get it all sewn up now. So I can't wait to share that with you. So I'm going to have a dress version of it and a top version of it. So I'm so excited. <laughs> So I just wanted to share that with you as well. <laughs> if you can hear any kind of like whirring in the background, it's because uh, we have lawn mowers uh, going outside. <laughs> so if you can hear anything, that's what it is. <laughs> so the next round of fabrics that I want to share with you, these ones are very special because I went fabric shopping with my lovely friend Anna and she's got a YouTube channel called You've Got Me In Stitches. I'm sure you are aware of her. Um, if you haven't, then I'll link her channel down below so you can check it out. Um, but we've been friends for ages and um, it started out when I started my YouTube channel and she sent me a message kind of saying, oh, I've just watched your channel. This was like very early, early days. <laughs> And, um, and then she was like, oh, I've got a YouTube channel as well. And we started following each other. And it was just lovely getting to know each other, like through our YouTube channels, as well as chatting on Instagram. And we had this plan to kind of meet up, but due to, you know, ways of the world and everything in the last kind of year and a half, we weren't able to do that. So now things are getting a little bit more back to normal. Um, we decided to meet up. So it was such a lovely day. So um, I travelled um, to see her on the train and her and her lovely son T.E., if you've seen her channel, you know who I'm talking about, um, met me at the train station and she had this lovely day planned uh, for us. So um, we went to um, one of the fabric shops that she likes to go to and also she invited me to her home as well where I met her cats and her other pets that she has and she made me a lovely lunch as well. So it was such a lovely, lovely day. And then um, also we then went um, to another fabric shop which was Fabricland. And um, I love Fabric Land because my local Fabric Land actually closed down quite a while ago. And I used to go in there like quite often because I really like their fabrics. And I don't really have one near me. So actually <laughs> going to one, I was actually really excited. <laughs> and um, yeah, I did pick up three fabrics from Fabric Land. So I'll show you these to you now. So the first one is this lovely jersey. Now this is, well actually all of these are polyester jerseys and I'm really really surprised actually because these feel like cotton. If if I hadn't have known that the that the sticker said that it was um, a polyester jersey then I would never have known. This feels like a cotton jersey. It feels lovely. So you may recognise this print because I own a t-shirt in this print, but a different colourway. <laughs> and I love that t-shirt. I wear that t-shirt so much. And they had another two colourways. They had, I think, a grey background and then they had this beautiful dusky pink. And I saw this pink and I just had to have it. So uh, not very interesting, but all I'm going to be doing is doing exactly the same pattern that I've done for my other t-shirt, which is the Sew Over It Molly t-shirt. And that is what I'm going to make out of that because I wear the other one so much and I just think I'd get so much wear from this one as well. So I got a metre of that one. The next one I got, um, so again, it's a polyester jersey, but it feels like cotton, is this gorgeous print here. So this is a navy background and then we've got white flowers with these kind of mustard and yellow and grey colours. It's so pretty and I mean I know that we're kind of heading towards like autumn <laughs> and everything but I saw this and I just in my head just flicked and just thought I need to make the Friday Pattern Company Westcliff dress from this. I just think this would be the 
perfect, perfect pattern um, to suit that this fabric. So I got three meters of this one and that is going to be my plan. And hopefully I'll get a little bit of wear of it because um, as a maxi dress, then it will keep you a little bit warmer than, you know, kind of like a knee length dress and you can layer it with a navy cardigan over the top. I just think it'd be lovely or even a mustard colour cardigan would look fab. So I do want to get around to making that um, hopefully at some point soon, but I've got so many plans <laughs> to make things. My list is endless, uh, but I saw that and I just had to get it. It's so beautiful, that fabric. And then this fabric, <laughs> as we were going round, Anna spotted it and she was like, oh, Michelle, cats. <laughs> so as you know, uh, I love cats. <laughs> And um, she did actually pick up some of this for herself as well. But oh, it's just beautiful. I love it. <laughs> so this is, uh, yeah, again, a polyester jersey with all these lovely little cat faces. And I just thought, like, especially like this one here, it just looks like a little misty cat. <laughs> there isn't really a Bentley cat as such on there so sorry Bentley <laughs> but I just thought it was so cute with all those little cat faces so this is going to be um, another little t-shirt just because I just think it'd be a lovely one just to wear just for those casual days and it's really super super soft really really lovely I do love the uh, the t-shirt fabrics from Fabricland because they're quite lightweight um fabrics and they're just perfect just for like nice little t-shirts and things so that is that one. <laughs> oh, can you see a little bentley foot <laughs> sorry it's so distracting having in there isn't it <laughs> uh, so yeah those are the fabrics um i got from fabric land and um, if you want to see some um, like video footage and some more pictures as to um, what me and Anna got up to, then I do strongly suggest you go over to Anna's channel because she has a video kind of showing a little bit more and you can see what we got up to. But um, I know Anna you're watching, so thank you very, very much for a lovely, lovely day. And uh, yeah, I'll just, I can't wait until we have many, many more days out together. <laughs> okay, and then on to some patterns that I picked up. So I actually picked up two free sewing patterns, um, which are PDFs. So I don't have them here to show you, uh, but I do think I should mention them because they are lovely, lovely free patterns. And the first one is um, a jumper pattern from Sinclair Patterns. And I think it's called the um linea i think it is um i'll insert a, a picture of it somewhere here so you can see but it's a lovely lovely color block um sweater and i actually found out about this from andrea from beyond the pink door because i'm part of her facebook um group which is like the pink door makers group and uh, she posted up there saying oh i've noticed this free sewing pattern and I thought it's absolutely lovely with the colour blocking. You've got all these different panels and things you can do different colours on. And so I thought I had to pick that up because that pattern, I believe, is free. I think it's until possibly sometime at the end of September, I think. So, um, yeah, if you haven't seen that one, I strongly suggest you download that one because it's free. And I just think it would be an amazing scrap buster. So looking forward to making that one up. And then the other one and the name completely escapes me, is the new one from Peppermint magazine and it's a pinafore and it's just beautiful and I found out about this from uh, Sam from Frugalissima, her YouTube channel which I will link down below, I'm sure all of you know of her, she does the best videos where she shares all of the new free sewing patterns that she can find as well as tons and tons of other content. And I love watching, especially the ones uh, about the free patterns, because we love a free pattern. And um, yeah, so this one from Peppermint is just gorgeous. It's kind of got, um, do you remember a while back, quite a few people were going a bit crazy over like the Queen's Gambit and that kind of um, like pinafore that she wore in that. And um, I just think this one's got that slight nod to it. And I just think it's beautiful. 
And I've got an idea already in mind is um, I would like to make um, like a tartan one so that I can wear a little black polo neck underneath it. I think that would look so nice, It'd be perfect for winter. So I'm hoping I'll get around to making that very soon as well. But I thought I would share that one with you because yeah, it's a fabulous pattern, it looks so pretty. It's kind of got a very deep V at the front, but um, the sections that go kind of over the bust have actually got a dart in them. So it does actually give shape. And then also the skirt um, section of it, you have like buttons down the back. You can have the straps kind of just going straight over. You can have them crossed at the back. So many different variations of that. So yeah, really excited to make that one up. <laughs> and then the last pattern that um, I want to share with you was actually one given to me, um, which was so incredibly kind. And it's a lovely lady called Jan. Now, Jan, I know, follows um, my YouTube channel. So hello, Jan. <laughs> and um, I also chat to her um, on a weekly basis because she's part of the um, kind of pink ladies social um, that we do on Zoom, which again is run by Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door. And um, yeah, she sent me a lovely message just to say, look, I've got a pattern. Um, I'm not going to use it. Um, I think it's something that you would really like. So it was so incredibly kind of her to do that. And when I opened up the, uh, the package from her, she also sent me a card. And <laughs> again, I'm so predictable. <laughs> it's cats. <laughs> it's so cute. Look at that little picture. It's absolutely adorable. So thank you so much, Jan. That was so lovely of you to send a card as well. And uh, yeah, the pattern. I'm not going to be able to pronounce it, um, but it is the Deer and Doe um, Bruyere shirt. <laughs> I'm sure you know the one I mean. I can't pronounce it, uh, but it's this lovely, lovely shirt dress here. And um, I'm sure as you know, I do actually like shirts and shirt dresses. So yeah, it was so lovely of Jan to think of me for this one. And I love both of these versions. I don't know which one. I would make because this one would be absolutely beautiful for summer but then this one I think would probably be the one that I probably would make because I probably would wear it for work maybe teamed up with some leggings or some jeggings or something but it's a lovely lovely details on here so you've got bust starts waist starts and then these lovely lovely little like pleats here really really pretty so it really gives some definition I think to the waist I just think it's lovely and then it also, if I show you the back, it has also got um, a back yoke as well and then darts on the back. So yeah, I can't wait to make that. It's going to be a lovely, lovely little shirt to make. So thank you very much, Jan. That was so incredibly kind of you to send that for me. <laughs> and then the last thing I'd just like to share with you is actually something from uh, Stitch Crafts UK. And uh, the lady who runs uh, this Etsy shop actually contacted me over on uh, Instagram and she said, oh, I've got a new product um, out and I'd really like some feedback on it. Can I send it to you free? And I was like, yeah, that would be absolutely lovely. Now, there was no obligation to mention it on my channel or anything, but, you know, anything sewing related, I share on my channel. So I thought I would just show you what it was. And it's a little uh, sewing to do list. Um, on here. So you've got uh, just a little to-do list here and then this little section here which says spare five minutes. So it may be a little short list here. And you'll notice it's uh, on shiny <laughs> there. So it's laminated and you also get a little um, board marker as well. And I love the fact that she sent me an orange one. I don't know if they're all orange, <laughs> but uh, I love orange. So I love that. <laughs> And, uh, and so it's a little um, uh, kind of like note maker you can do, but because it's laminated, it's wiped clean. So for instance, if I just wanted to you know, write out some little to-do list things, so let's say if I wanted to, um, for me, I would probably write out what projects I want to do. So if I was to say, you know, my current projects, I wanted to make, you know, like the Joni jumpsuit, um, I wanted to make, you know, the Freya top, I would then probably list those. For instance, then I would uh, write down those patterns that I maybe want to make. 
And then, you know, depending on what you want to do, you can then maybe put at the bottom, you know, kind of like what steps you want to do. So for instance, uh, I've got a project on the go at the moment. And I think the last things I need to do is to stitch in some elastic and also do the hem. So if I wanted to pop that down for another project. So yeah, if I wanted to, um, whatever I'm doing on my current project, I could then maybe put those steps in. And then I've got like a little scrap of fabric. This is actually a swatch that I got from um, Felicity Fabrics. And um, what I would just do is say, once I've uh, sewn in my elastic, then I could just quite easily just wipe that off. So it comes off really nicely. I so say this is just a piece of jersey scrap on there. And so I can then wipe that off and you can see there's nothing really left on there. Um, and then once I've maybe stitched the hem, I'm just, I think it's probably useful for if you only get like, you know, occasional time to sew. I mean, I tend to kind of sew quite like long periods of time and things but I do think this is really good say if you can only have like say like five minutes to do something what do you want to do in that five minutes you know break down maybe the instructions into like smaller steps and things like that or if you make notes at the top um, say if I'd finished my frayer top then I could just wipe that off and then at least I know I've just got the Joni jumpsuit to make <laughs> And then once I've made that off, I can clean that off. And then you'll be able to see that, yeah, it wipes off really, really easily. There's no kind of like residue or anything like that, because I have found with some things, if you use certain markers, they kind of always leave a bit of you know stuff behind. But it comes off really nicely and cleanly there. So I just thought I'd share it with you. I would probably I'll use this section probably more than I'll use this section. I probably use it just to write down what my projects are. So when I um, say to you guys about my plans videos, I probably would write down what my plans are. And then maybe if I was to maybe sneak in another one or something, I'd probably write it down there. And so then I can have this up on my little uh, wall there and uh, yeah, just kind of like tick them off. But rather than wasting paper, you're just reusing the same um, piece of laminate. So I thought I'd share that with you. I will link it down below. As I said, there was no um, like obligation for me to share that, but I just thought it would be nice uh, to show you just in case you find that's gonna be helpful for you. So that was everything. I hope you enjoyed watching and uh, yeah, I will speak to you all very, very soon in my next video, which I'm hoping will be my August makes because I need to share that with you. <laughs> okay, well, take care, everybody. Bye.